Hi, everybody. I just saw this, uh, and I guess many of you have also seen it, or perhaps not. Kinky Cuomo Harassed Women, AG, New York. Groping, kissing, verbal abuse. Governor retaliated against these women. Violated federal and state law. Read it all. Biden, resign. All right. Oh, too bad for you. Well, let's just listen to... uh, I wanted to get off mainstream media here in the United States. So let's listen to mainstream media in Canada. New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo has responded to a report from independent investigators who conclude he is guilty of sexual harassment. Cuomo continues to deny any intentional harassment. That's despite the findings of a five-month investigation that sided with 11 of his accusers. Freelance reporter Sarah Walton is in New York with more. At a press conference on Tuesday, New York Attorney General Letitia James accused New York Governor Andrew Cuomo of sexually harassing at least 11 women and retaliating against a former employee who complained about his conduct publicly. Governor Andrew Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women and in doing so violated federal and state law. Specifically, the investigation found that Governor Andrew Cuomo sexually harassed current and former New York State employees by engaging in unwelcome and non-consensual touching and making numerous offensive comments of a suggestive and sexual nature that created a hostile work environment for women. Now, investigators spoke to 179 witnesses over four months and interviewed Cuomo himself for 11 hours. In response, Andrew Cuomo released a lengthy video statement saying he would not resign uh, and he denied all the allegations made against him. I do kiss people on the forehead. I do kiss people on the cheek. I do kiss people on the hand. I do embrace people. I do hug people, men and women. I do on occasion say, ciao Bella. On occasion, I do slip and say sweetheart or darling or honey. I do banter with people. I do tell jokes, some better than others. In his defense, he cited his age of 63, saying, this is just not who I am. Uh, He responded to some allegations directly, uh, including claims of harassment made by a former aide. Uh, He said he had attempted to counsel her through personal trauma uh, and asked her questions about her dating life. Uh, He says his actions were misconstrued and he apologised to the woman. Now, the Attorney General says her office is not pressing forward with charges, uh, but that action could be taken by other jurisdictions. Uh, The governor is now facing an increasing number of calls for him to stand down uh, from both state and local lawmakers. Uh, And that includes the the mayor of New York, Bill de Blasio, who said that it was beyond clear that Cuomo could no longer stay in his job. But he's hanging on. He is hanging on. So if you want to hear the full press conference... Uh, click on the link below. Yeah, the allegations read by this woman here, staff of the AG's office. Um, Look, uh, 11 women. It sounds like a pretty uh, intensive investigation that went on. 179 witnesses. Okay, I'm not going to resign. Are you kidding me? You know what's interesting? It is all over the news. Mainstream media, MSNBC, all of them, all of them. You should see uh, the reporting on this. You know, it's, you've got Reuters, 
NBC News, ABC News, CBS, CNN, wife of assassinated president describes brutal attack. Oh, okay. Fox News on it. They're on Denver 7, local news, national news. Everybody's on it. But CNN. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, right. Chris Cuomo. You know, we have the lowest of the low. I don't care how much money they have. I don't care about the position that they have. The status that comes along with that position. I don't care about their fancy clothes and their luxurious life. I care if they're, you know, one of those moral upstanding human beings. Um, do we have any of them? Hmm. Well, I'm sure we do. But unfortunately, they're few and far between. But because we have the majority who are not moral, upstanding human beings in office, positions of power over us, we live a friggin' nightmare. This guy is so, God, just everything about him reeks of, I got the power. I'm going to use it over you. I can do whatever the hell I want to do. The narcissist, the psychopath, the power, like gone to head. It's all over him. Intimate, you mean sexual relationship. Well, don't just read the question. <laughs> you have to know basically what it means. Intimate has a number of uh, manifestations. I think we have an intimate relationship. Don't you think that? Yeah. Not a sexual relationship. <laughs> no. No. Made you uncomfortable with that question, didn't I? <laughs> Smug, <clears throat> narcissistic, disgusting. And he's going to hang on. Let's see how CNN reports on this. Let's see how the Democrats spin it so this guy stays. Whoa, oh, wait, New Yorkers. Hey, you, ordinary New Yorkers. Uh, don't you have a say? Don't you want to get rid of this guy? A whole lot of people love him. Uh, defend him. This guy has destroyed New York, along with de Blasio. New York State. So many scandals, but mainstream media, oh yes, it is a leftist organization of, well, propagandists. Who protect the left and until look until Americans actually stand up and demand better than what they have they'll keep getting this that's the problem so will he fall from grace oh wait he was never graceful Will he resign? Will he be pushed into resignation? Find it interesting that the AG has decided to not press charges. It's up to, it's really up to the women whether or not they're going to file uh, civil suits. The criminals get protected. Let's see if he can actually hang on 
because spinning this is going to be hard. <laughs>